Hi guys, this is Fella from Online Combat for today with a quick guide on how to use the admin functions in the Alive missions for the multi-session operations that we have going on our server at the moment. First thing you need to do is select the platoon leader position if you want to be the one in control of the mission to spawn tasks for your team. Then obviously hit OK. Next thing you need to do when you're in the mission is go to the arsenal. Make sure you've got a backpack miscellaneous items and you'll see combat support tablet at the top you'll need one of those to access the combat support tablet use the Windows function key which on most keyboards is on the right hand side next to the control key go to commander actions tasks and then you can generate tasks for your team you can generate one task or auto generate tasks for my side. First thing we'll go through is generating a task. So we click on that, select the task type up the top. I'm going to select high value target assassination, a medium distance from base. You need to select the faction that you want the enemy to be. I'm going to select Russian MSV troops for OP4 and apply only to the assigned individuals. Now when you do that you need to go to assign players and click on the player that you want. Go to back, set to current and then generate, generate the task. task. That, that task will then generate that mission for your players. players. And, and with generating, generating tasks I'm just generating another one here which will be a military objective assault medium distance from my current location. I'm going to select Islamic State into uh, OP4 um, and then apply to all current and JIP members of the assigned groups. Even if you do this or apply to all players on my side, you still need to go to Assign Players. Okay. Select this current task. Actually, I'll select no because we've created another task. Then generate task. Close the C tab. And there's the task that's popping up now. It's been generated. If you want to generate task individually, you can go to command actions, tasks, and auto generate tasks for my side. You need to select the enemy type that you want. Be mindful that some of the um, uh, factions have an OP4 or independent. Uh, you need to select OP4. Okay, I'm going to use ISIS OP4 and enable tactical tasks. Then close. That will then generate automatically tasks for your team to complete. One of the other important tasks of the C tab is combat support. We can go to combat support and select transport, which is called on X ray one, to pick us up at a location I mark on the map and confirm. The next row one will pass a radio message saying that they're moving to your grid for pickup. And you can close. The CH 47 is now coming in for a pickup at the location that I marked on the map under combat support. Surely the helicopter crew will ask me to pop smoke to confirm the landing location. And they just asked, asked me to pop smoke, put out a red smoke grenade. They will now confirm that it is red that I've popped. Another radio message, I see white smoke, do you confirm over? For some reason it's not picking up the colour, but in the commander actions, combat support, 
confirm smoke. Close. Now the chopper will land and do the pickup. Okay, now I'm inside the chopper and I want these guys to take me to my next mission. So again, open the C tab, command actions, combat support, and we'll select insertion and we'll select a point of the map. Insertion, if it's gonna let me do it. There we go. Load height, medium height, I'm gonna select low, speed normal, and open fire if they need to, and confirm order. Close. These guys now will fly me to that location. Sometimes these guys will get stuck in the air and not land. So if we just select the location, land, confirm order, and close, they will now land the aircraft because not all they don't always land. Okay, now that I've landed, now that the aircraft's landed, I've disembarked. Go to combat support. And order the unit to RTB. Close. Now the chopper will RTB, so it's out of the combat area. Another thing you can do with the C-Tab is request logistical support. So I'm going to mark my location. I want combat supplies, ammo, and I want an uh, RHS USF ammo crate. Send request. Then the supplies will head in my direction. If you've been waiting a bit for your supplies, you go back to the C tab, Commander Actions, Logistics. You've already requested a, a, an ammo drop, and you can just click on Show Status. At 1340, Heli Insert requested, and they're en route. You can also do things such as in the module settings, go to Military IED Threat and you can set the threat level for IEDs, i.e. the higher the number from 0 to 350 um, will increase the number of IEDs. One thing in the C tab we don't want you guys to do is go to Admin Actions and toggle OP COM installations that will spawn a lot of Blue 4 units on the uh, map and it will cause performance issues. And the last thing I'll show you guys is the Commander Actions and Send SIDREP. You can detail uh, your call sign. Let's say Alpha 1 1. Date time, the grid I'm currently at, let's say 4 enemy KIA. Zero friendlies, zero civilians, none wounded, enemy state, not seen, friendly state, green, meaning all good, and we can put in whatever other remarks we'd like to, all quiet, here. And we can send the sit rep. And a sit rep will be sent to here, and you can view the sit rep there. When you have a task to defend an objective, when you arrive at the task, there will be friendly Blue 4 troops there. Don't see them from a distance and start engaging them, as uh, has happened a few times. If you are the are logged in as the admin and everyone's had enough and they've uh, uh, want to disconnect and do something else, if you go to escape, you can go to server save and exit admin only. So what that will do is save where the mission is currently up to and it will exit the mission and take you back to the mission selection screen. Or you can server exit which will again take you back to the uh, exit screen or the mission selection screen but it won't save the session. 
As always, if you have any questions or comments, see the OCB staff in um, TeamSpeak or Discord, or you can send me a PM on our forums at ocb.net.au.